Right now, we're waiting to find out if a large portion of this well-known local mall will reopen today after electricity was shut off. FPL says Seminole Town Center's owner is behind on the power bill, and that's not the only financial trouble the once popular shopping center is facing. Mark Lehman is live at the mall in Sanford, and Mark, the mall also owes nearly a million dollars in taxes. Yeah, pretty unbelievable, but that's what the county tells us, and huge late fees are piling up every month. And look, we know how much malls have been struggling lately, and here's the situation at the Seminole Town Center. Now, Elevate is one of the few stores that provide their own power for their own electricity. They brought in temporary lights to light up their parking lot, but over here, the rest of the parking lot surrounding the Seminole Town Center remains in the dark this morning. If you were planning to shop at the Seminole Town Center yesterday, you may have been asking yourself who turned the lights out. Shop owners were just as surprised and unable to open as FPL cut power to the building Thursday morning. The reason, according to the power company, is because the ownership group for the mall is behind on its bills. FPL saying disconnection for non-payment is and always has been a last resort. While FPL doesn't take lightly the decision to turn off anyone's power, we must treat all customers fairly given unpaid electric bills are ultimately paid for by all our customers in the form of higher rates. Anchor retailers like Elevate were still open yesterday because they pay for their own power. The mall as a whole, though, has been struggling. We did some digging and found the Seminole Town Center owes a lot in back taxes. For 2022, the county says they owe more than $500,000 last year's unpaid tax bill, then adding another $415,000 to the tab. The money woes are also happening as there's been a push to revitalize the mall. Sanford rezoned a property nearby to attract other businesses, but a couple years later, the struggles continue. What's unclear this morning is if the main portion of the Seminole Town Center will reopen in the next few hours. And the city of Sanford says that the owner of the mall simply needs to pay their power bill. And this morning, we're working to learn if uh, that happened to be the case over the last 24 hours or if they will remain closed. We'll keep you updated with what we learned throughout the morning. For now, reporting live in Seminole County, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.